Hey guys, this is Paul, Darcy Phone Fighters. Thanks for joining me for this quick video on the uh, Phone Fighter 117. Um, basically, I've been waiting for uh, about three weeks for the weather to, to get good so I could get out and uh, redo the maiden flights. Um, we basically had some uh, fairly good weather over the weekend. Um, temperatures were about 35 to 40 degrees and the winds were only about 5 miles an hour. So we went out to Herman Airport to do some maiden flights. So let's get into the video and check it out. Okay, hey guys, I got the F-117 all rebuilt. We're going to try and remaiden it. Um, the conditions are a lot better today. It's about, what, 35 degrees right now. Wind is about 5 miles an hour, so it's a lot better than the last time. Hopefully, that's all it was, was the uh, bad weather. So, this is going to be the new maiden flight. Okay, guys, here it goes. First toss, nose into the ground. Not good, it's uh, super sensitive. I think I need to turn down my dual rate. Let's see. Okay guys, as you can see uh, from the uh, video, the uh, plane went down, basically on the launch. Um, primarily it's because I had the uh, aileron set with too much throw. So it was making the uh, controls way too sensitive in the roll. And it looked like it started to roll one way, then I overcorrected. And then it shot back over real quick the other way. So uh, basically what I did is I uh, adjusted the radio. I took out 50% of the throws and I set it on the dual rates. And I set it down to that and it uh, mellowed out the uh, roll rate of the plane. And it made it uh, much better to fly. So let's get back into the video and see it after I made the corrections. So is that better, Paul? Yeah. It was a solid error on that last one. I had way too much throw. This plane was super responsive in the roll. But otherwise, it's like it's flying good now. Well, that thing does have a short wingspan. What's the span yeah. on it? It's 26 inches. No, that's not real short. No. So if and when <laughs> these plants come out and you guys do build it, make sure you turn down your rates on your ailerons. At least on the roll. Yeah. Cool, looks like it's flying good though, otherwise. Do a glide test. See if it's nosing up or down. Let me get it up a little high. Lightly or? Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, look at yeah, that. That's dude. at 50% throw, dude. <laughs> What about on the elevator? How does it do? How tight is the loop? Get it up a little higher. <laughs> Pretty tight. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's going very fast. Is that full throttle? No. Really batteries might need to warm up. Yeah, I think next one's gonna be EPP <laughs> with the big motor. It's got a crash nose, man. It's still flying good yeah. though. Yeah, I always like the way that plane looks well, in the air, man. Yeah, because it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah kind of it's boxy. Yeah. They're supposed to be there and they're easy to do. <laughs> Very controllable once you got the aileron set right. <laughs> oh, I think I'm running out of power. Is that battery fully charged now? All right, man, so what do you think? So I think it's uh, pretty good. Um, like I said, other than having my aileron set so they had too much throw at the very beginning, um, I think it's a good to go plane. So I'm probably going to be finishing up the plans in the next couple of weeks for you guys to download. Um, the only thing I suggest, uh, probably um, the motor, I think it might need a bigger prop 
I might um, put a motor on there that'll handle seven inch props so it has a little more thrust. Cause it's not as free of flow, there's stuff in front of it compared to like Frank's bullet plane and stuff like that. So we'll see, we'll experiment with it a little more in the future. Okay guys, get ready to do a second flight of my crunched nose F-117. Let's see how it goes. After I dialed in the ailerons, it looks like it cured the uh, super fast roll rate. So I turned them down to 50% and it looks like it's dialed the CG and everything. So look forward to plans coming soon be, to be posted on our website. Okay guys, so that pretty much completes the main of flash for the Foam Fighter 117. Um, seems like everything worked out pretty good. Once I got the ailerons adjusted to the correct uh, throws, it really mellowed out the way it flew and it, you know, it still has a really snappy roll rate. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's uh, pretty much good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the plans, hopefully in the next week or so, and I'll get those posted for you guys for free download. So keep an eye out for that. Um, should be coming in the near future. Thanks again for joining me for this uh, Foam Fighter 117 video, and uh, stay tuned because we've got a lot more stuff coming up in the uh, coming weeks.